New for you tonight at 6, the governor's budget is out and it has a lot of people talking. Educators, in fact, feel it falls short of what's needed during the pandemic. The two-year $46 billion budget does not include broad-based tax hikes, but it does call for fees on certain trucks. Channel 3 Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff is joining us now with how people are taking it. Susan. Aaron, that truck fee certainly has people talking. Budgets have a lot in them, as you know, and you always have people who are pleased and those who are not. In this case, everyone seems to be happy that there are no major tax increases, but there are plenty of other things like this trucking fee. In Governor Lamont's budget, one focus is fixing transportation. To do it, he's proposing a mileage-based user fee on tractor trailers. You're taking all of these taxes that are already all passed down to consumers. They're going to keep getting passed down to consumers. The, state of, the people of the state of Connecticut are truly going to end up paying them. The vice president of a Meriden-based fuel supplier says an additional tax could cost the company close to half a million a year. There's no way to know if the taxes that we already pay are enough to fix our roads because they're, they're used to balance the budget in other ways. And what about cars? Would they be next? This would not expand to cars in any way. You, you can write that law any way you want to, legislature, to give you 100% confidence there. Lamont doesn't support broad-based tax hikes, which progressive Democrats were seeking to reform property taxes. Distressed cities and towns with tax-exempt properties will get an additional $100 million, and no cuts in education. Governor Lamont is counting on federal money and some of the state's rainy day fund. Education has been hard hit during COVID. And while there are no cuts in funding, educators say they need more resources. Given the ongoing needs and the extraordinary situation in education created by the pandemic, yes. The state needs revenue. Lamont is also counting on recreational marijuana and legalized sports betting. The tribes say they may be close to an agreement. We're all pushing in the same direction and we're just we're going to punch it in and we're going to get done this this session. I believe that. So it seems Governor Lamont has now abandoned his push for tolls in the state, favoring this truck fee instead, which could bring in about 80 million dollars a year. Lamont said today in his afternoon news conference that big tractor trailer trucks do most of the damage on our roads and feels they should make a bigger contribution. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.